introduction to the author we discussed about fable uh, the gentleman of the jungle is a fable and about jomo kenyatta is an african uh, fighter come politician and a writer now we know what is happening in the story you know this innocent man his hut is occupied by elephant you know in fact this man wanted to help that elephant wherein the elephant took the advantage of the situation and pushed the man from his own hut now what is going on the old jungle is being to the argument between this man and that elephant they come near that hut and then there is also a lion king of jungle and the lion is saying that uh, you know it has decided to appoint a commission of inquiry a commission of inquiry to uh, look into this issue to solve this issue uh, to decide for whom the hut belongs to and we all know that the hut belongs to the man this elephant uh, seeking for help that it was heavily raining torrential rain to safeguard itself its trunk from rain it goes and asks for that man's help he does help but in return what happens he is pushed away from his own house and now the commission of inquiry is uh, been set up by the lion and the man uh, say you know is very pleased because you know naturally uh, the hut belongs to him so at last uh, the commission of inquiry will come to the natural conclusion that okay the hut belongs to this man so he innocently waits for his opportunity and then what happens the elephant obeying the command of his master got busy with other ministers so the elephant since the lion uh, the king the master has uh, commanded that uh, to start a uh, inquiry the elephant now is in charge so it is setting up the commission and who are the people that are included who are the animals that are included in this commission of inquiry mr rhinoceros mr buffalo mr alligator mr right honorable fox mr leopard to act as secretary to the commission so these are the animals that are selected for that commission of inquiry so these are the animals now uh, which will uh, inquire on this case the animals are rhinoceros buffalo look at this the animals here are called as mr we all know animals are uh, you know they are not human like mr mrs all these terms are used only for human beings with respect here even the animals are given with much respect they are like you know in that jungle it is like a society in that society these are the ruling powers a uh, lion is the king and all the other animals are like ministers they have their own government like setup so here these uh, animals are now the ministers are now uh, the part of this uh, commission rhinoceros with buffalo alligator fox will be the chairman and mr leopard will act as secretary of the commission so the commission is set up the elephant has selected the animals that should be looking after uh, the inquiry now uh, it is clear that the case is between an animal and a man but in this uh, commission of inquiry all of them are animals so the man actually protests he says you know uh, he protests and asks if it was necessary to include in this commission a member from his side he protests and questions that in the commission there are no people from my side so you should include a man as well not that all of the commission members should be animals so for that uh, you know he was told that it was impossible since no one from his side was well enough educated to understand the intricacy of jungle of intricacy of jungle law so look at the reason the, uh, the animals reject the man's proposal they say we cannot include anyone from your side we cannot include any human being in this commission because they are not well educated it is 
vice versa. In reality, human beings are well educated. Animals, of course, uh, you know, they cannot talk, they cannot speak, they cannot read, nothing. But here in this story, the animals are educated, wherein the man is not well educated. So, the animals are giving a reason that we cannot include a human being in this commission because they are not well educated and they do not understand the complexity of jungle law. Human being cannot understand how jungle law works. So here this is very uh, sensitive topic. Uh, I discussed about colonialism. I discussed about how European powers, you know, when, they, when I say European powers, it could be US, England, France, Germany, Italy, all these countries, all these European superpowers, uh, European countries, they invaded Africa. They went to Africa and in their own land, Africans were made to live like slaves. You know, the Britishers, for example, how did they treat Indians? Uh, in, in our own land, we lived like slaves under Britishers. Everything, authority, government, governance, everything was looked after by Britishers before independence. Just like that, Africa was also ruled by all these uh, you know, European superpowers, European countries. So, uh, that is why Jomo Kenyatta has written this fable indirectly here. This man represents Africa, African culture, wherein the animals, they represent the European superpowers. Just how European countries went to Africa and uh, colonized Africa and they made the Africans live like slaves in their own land. How they treated Africans, how uh, they treated Africans as uneducated. All the government uh, pro, you know, things, works were looked after by these uh, European countries. And also, they made, uh, Af they occupied African land, agricultural land, everything. They sent Africans away from Africa to other European countries to work as slaves. So here, this man is representing Africa. And the animals here, Mister, with full of respect, he is comparing, uh, you know, he is saying Mister Elephant, Mister Rhinoceros. So the animals, in a way, are representing European superpowers. How these animals are treating this man? No, exactly the same way how European countries treated Africa. So now, uh, look at the reason being given. The man from your side, human beings are not educated and they do not understand jungle rules, jungle law. So we cannot include anyone from that side in the commission. So the animals are saying this to man. The same thing happened with colonization. Uh, you know, Britishers or Germans, they considered Africans uneducated. So they took away all their powers from their hands. Uh, so don't get confused. This is a very simple fable which is giving an indirect message. So a fable which includes man and animals giving a moral story that at last good wins and evil has to destroy. Uh, and in, in a way is giving a comparison that the animals are like European superpowers. This man, he is like Africa or African people. Now, uh, the elephant has occupied the heart. Lion has to start a commission of inquiry. The elephant has started, uh, it listed the names, all these animals which will be looking after, uh, into the case. Man protests saying, uh, I need a human being. I need a man. I need a person from my side to be in the commission but animals reject saying no your side of uh, people human beings are not well educated so we cannot include them in the commission further that there was nothing to fear for the members of the commission were all men of repute for their impartiality in judgment
justice, impartiality in justice. There is nothing to fear because all the members who are there in that commission, when it comes to justice, they are impartial. They do not partial uh, between two of the groups. So their ju judgment will be good enough. Their judgment will be acceptable, justiceful. So he might assure that they would investigate the matter with greatest care and report impartially, unbiased. Now they partiality in the case Nadisi, at the end they will give judgment which will be unbiased. And that all the manusha all that okay, all these animals are very reputed. They give judgment impartially, their judgment will be unbiased. So at the end, naturally, uh, the case will be on my side and the hut will be returned to me. So the man thinks like that and uh, he leaves it. Then the inquiry begins. You know, the, the inquiry doesn't long for a long at all. This elephant, he comes, he speaks, says, uh, gentleman of the jungle. Who are the gentlemen of the jungle? All these animals that I mentioned. There is no need for me to waste your valuable time. I have always regarded it as my duty to protect the interests of my friends. Now the elephant is putting forth his side of argument. Now the elephant has to give an explanation so to what happened the other day. And its explanation is Dear gentleman of the jungle, to uh, the fellow animals it is saying, I don't want to waste your time. I have always considered it as my duty to protect the interests of my friends. So in, in my, look at the reason given by the elephant. He invited me to save his heart from being blown away by a king. As the hurricane had gained access, owing to the unoccupied space in the hut, I considered it necessary in my friend's own interest to talk the underdeveloped space to more economic use by sitting in it myself, a duty which any of you would undoubtedly have performed with equal readiness in similar circumstances. So, the reason that infant giving is, there was heavy hurricane. So, I needed to save the hut. The man was living in, the, in that hut and it was not well occupied, which means the hut was empty. Obviously, man is very thin and smaller in comparison uh, to elephant. So, since the hut was very empty, uh, the wind would have blown it away. So, to avoid it, to save that hut and that man, I entered the hut and sat there, which means I occupied the empty space. When the empty space is occupied, the air cannot completely destroy the hut. So this is the reason that elephant is giving. But what actually happened was in the beginning, what if it happened? Why did elephant get inside the hut? Because to save its trunk, to save itself, elephant here is lying. In reality, in, uh, the truth is, elephant asked for that man's help and he helped. But here the elephant is lying that I helped that man. I saved his hut. So what happens next? They listen to elephant's argument. The man has not yet argued at all. The commission listens to the elephant's argument and uh, they come to conclusion. Uh, commission called Mr. Ainam and other elders of the jungle and all supported what Mr. Elephant had said. Uh, the commission invited other seniors, elders also, including Mr. Ainam and every of these animals, they agreed and they believed and supported Mr. Elephant. They called the man um, and you know, now man should give his opinion, no, his side of opinion, but they are not even ready to listen to him. They cut short and say, please confine yourself to relevant issues. Uh, they ask a question to that man. Whether the underdeveloped space in your heart was occupied by anyone else before Mr. Elephant assumed his position. 
that question is did anyone else other than elephant occupied your space before uh, mr elephant that is the question being asked so man began to say no but so man says no no one occupied my uh, undeveloped space before elephant it was mr elephant who entered the space first so he says no but which means he wants to say more he wants to add more to his statement but animals stop him they do not listen to him at all so they declare that uh, there is a, a sufficient evidence uh, now the case is closed uh, and the judgment is that uh, after enjoying a delicious meal at the expense of a right honorable mr elephant they reached their verdict called the man declared as follows With, you know we all are uh, very well known to the concept of corruption you pay money and the judgment will be on your side and here the elephant has given all the committee members with delicious food dinner they eat after uh, finishing this delicious meal they call the man to give their judgment and what is the judgment in our opinion this dispute has arisen through a regrettable misunderstanding due to backwardness of your ideas the animals here are considering themselves to be really very well educated they are the ones who know everything they are to advance wherein this man is still backward so that is the reason since he is backward he misunderstood the old concept uh, elephant fulfilled his sacred duty its holy duty elephant did a holy duty or fulfilled its sacred duty by protecting your heart to be considered uh, your interest your heart as it is clear from your word that the space should be put to its most economic use for your safety if again any such wind blows or hurricane comes the hut will be destroyed so the hut has to be used properly economic use for that the uh, elephant deserves that hut more than you so for your safety if the animals are saying for the man's safety he better leave that hut and uh, you know add over it to the elephant Uh, we consider it necessary to arrange a compromise to suit both parties. Mr. Elephant shall continue his occupation of your hut, but we give you permission to look for a site where you can build another hut more suited to your needs. We will see that you are well protected. So, what is the judgment they are giving? We need to leave the hut for more economical use. You are not that grown. Have not reached that stage of expansion, which will fill the empty space. So now, better come to a conclusion, a compromise that uh, elephant will continue to occupy the hut. Elephant will live in that hut, but we make sure that you get another property. Uh, so they are giving this man a chance. They are saying that he can. a uh, search for a property uh, for, you know for a site where he can build another hut and they will uh, make sure that the man is protected so at last the man though uh, it is his hut with no other choice he has to leave it because the judgment is against him now elephant starts to live in that hut where the man is going to go out find another site and build hut so uh, what happens next will this man take revenge uh, or will the jungle continue to remain like this i'll discuss in the next class